Hey there, Hadsta. Welcome to Kalana Yoga. My name is Shauna, and I will be guiding you through today's practice. This class is iron yoga. We may or may not be using weights, and if we are using weights, always feel free to put them down at any time. They are absolutely optional. We are here to build strength, build length, have a great workout, get sweaty, and best of all, feel beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. This is a recording of a live class. If you wish to join us on our live classes, please reach out to me at kalanayoga.com where you'll see the schedule and the opportunity to sign up. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Uh, tonight's class is iron yoga. So if you have weights and choose to use them, go ahead and grab them now. Um, I'm using five pound weights today. Um, we'll be doing a little bit with the arms, a little bit with the legs, a little bit with the core, just to give you a preview of what we'll be doing with the weights. So you know what weight might work best for you. But we are going to start today in child's pose. So come to the back of your mat, bring your big toes to touch. Separate your feet as wide as what's comfortable, your knees rather, as wide as what's comfortable for you. And then extend your fingertips all the way forward. Let your forehead rest on the mat. Take a big deep inhale through the nose. And exhale, sigh it out. Take another longer, deeper inhale through the nose. And exhale, let it go. And take your longest, fullest, deepest breath yet. Invite in as much air as you possibly can into your lungs. And exhale, let it all go. And see if you can notice just with those big, deep inhales, if your back feels longer, maybe you can reach your forehead just a hair closer to the top of your mat. Maybe you can reach your heels just a hair closer to, or reach your hips rather, a little closer to your heels. See if holding this posture and taking big breaths has helped relax the whole spine. Let your shoulders fall away from your ears. Relax the space underneath your armpits, the sides of your ribs. Let your belly relax. Beautiful. Come to attention to your breath. Try to remove any distractions out of your mind. Just set them to the side of your mat and know that you can pick them back up at any time after class. Taking long, slow, deep inhales with each breath and long, slow, complete exhales. Allowing our breath to provide us energy and strength when we need it. Gently rock your forehead from ear to ear. And on your next inhale, slowly begin to pull yourself up to a tabletop position. And we'll hold this for a few breaths here just to enjoy our warm up. Inhale, cow pose. Draw your shoulders down your back. Let the belly drop. Lift the chin. Lift the tailbone. Exhale, cat pose around the spine. Breathe into the space between your vertebrae. Inhale, cow pose. Look up. Broaden through the chest. Exhale, cat pose. Round it out. And then begin to add in your own personal customizations to your warm up, maybe moving your hips or your ribs from side to side, maybe enjoying some slow, careful neck rotations, ankle rotations, wrist rotations. Spend this moment here just to breathe into any of the tightness. 
Be sure to find balance on both sides. So whatever you do on the left, also do on the right. Beautiful. And think about maybe inviting some of these warm-up practices to your morning routine. See if that can help energize your day, getting your body ready for a long, strong day. And once you're balanced, return to your tabletop position. Tuck your toes. Inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips. And focus on building the base from the top down. So press down through all 10 fingertips. Roll your shoulders down your back. Let the creases of your elbows spiral forward, creating space between your ears and your shoulders. Lift your hips as high as they'll go and then begin to lengthen down through the heels. Walk out your dog. Press one heel down, stretching through the calf as the other knee bends. And then switch. Beautiful. Maybe one more time. Switch again. And then last side switch. Great job. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Ragdoll pose. Walk your feet behind your wrists. Let your torso rest on your thighs. See if this gives you an even deeper stretch through your low back. To increase the intensity, grab opposing elbows. Maybe sway from side to side. Beautiful. Relax your fingertips down. Heel toe your feet together. Inhale, slowly begin to rise with your head and neck last to lift. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, mountain pose. Exhale, gentle back bend. Lift through the chest, push the hips a little forward. Inhale, rise mountain. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Reach your right hand behind you, left fingertips reach forward. Pull your right hip forward to stay in line with your left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. So right fingertips reach forward, left fingertips reach behind you, activate through the triceps, feel the twist through the middle upper spine. Inhale, come to center, one more little back bend, lift through the chest. Inhale, rise mountain, exhale, forward fold, hinge at the hips. Inhale, halfway lift, long, strong spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back to a tabletop position. Lowering your knees down, finding your stable base through the hands. Tuck your toes. Inhale, beast pose. Lift your knees up off the mat. So we're in tabletop, but our knees are hovering just an inch or two off the ground. Activate through the glutes and your core. Option to stay right here or maybe join me in Beast Mountain Climbers. Staying with your left foot down, reach your right knee to your right elbow and then step it back. And then reach your left knee to your left elbow and step it back. Right knee, right elbow, step it back. Left knee, left elbow. So your feet are still in that uh, tabletop pose, knees lifted up. One more round, right knee, right elbow, left knee, left elbow. Step back to a high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, baby cobra, lift the chest up off the mat, putting little to no weight in the fingertips, pressing down through the hips, reaching the crown of your head forward. Exhale, lower down. Inhale through tabletop, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips. Beautiful. That's a really good core warm up. Let's do it again. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way to standing, mountain pose. 
exhale gentle back bend lift with the chest squeeze the shoulder blades behind you inhale rise mountain exhale vertical twist to the right hold for the exhale inhale center exhale vertical twist to the left inhale center exhale gentle back bend cactus the arms inhale rise mountain exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale plant your hands step back to tabletop position so shoulders over wrists hips over knees tuck your toes lift the knees up off the mat feet stay where they are and then one at a time bring your right knee to your right elbow step it back left knee to left elbow step it back right to right step it back left one more round right back and left back inhale high plank step it all the way back exhale lower all the way down to your belly inhale baby cobra or pushing it up for mid to high cobra feeling a little deep of a back bend exhale lower down inhale press yourself up through tabletop and then tuck the toes downward facing dog beautiful inhale look forward exhale lower down to tabletop and grab either one or two weights I'm gonna grab both of my weights because I'm using five pounds and I can use a little bit more for this but so grab both and if you want to put one down go for it rise all the way up to standing on your knees so your knees are on the mat, your shoulders and your hips are stacked directly above your knees, roll your shoulders down, feet are behind you. You can either flex, uh, tuck your toes if that makes you feel more stable, or you can allow your toes to stay flat down on the mat. Put your elbows at a 90 degree angle and then either use one weight or bring both weights in front of you. Roll your shoulders down your back, squeeze the belly button in, and then slowly begin to rotate to the right, squeezing the core in so you don't over twist. Exhale back to center. Twist all the way to the left now. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. So your weights, your elbows are at a 90 degree angle. Weights stay out in front of you. Inhale, center exhale to the left trying to keep your hips square so when you twist to the left you might need to kind of push your left hip forward inhale center exhale twist to the right when you twist to the right you might need to push your right hip forward squeezing in through the core inhale center last one exhale twist to the left beautiful inhale center lower the weights down put your palms down inhale exhale downward facing dog lift the hips inhale reach your right leg high keep your hips level so the right toes point down heel points up lift through the back of the right thigh beautiful maybe hold for one more breath here enjoying downward or three-legged dog and on your next exhale, step it through, low lunge. Place your right foot in between your hands. Find your preferred lunge base. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Grab your weights, rise up, shoulders stack over hips. Weight start down at your side to find your stability. Squeeze in through the core, press down through your front foot squeeze the hips together beautiful once the base is stable inhale exhale lunge into your right knee so lower the left knee down hold the lunge with your weights at your side hammer curl them straight up 
So thumbs are up as you pull the weights up to your shoulder, still holding the lunge, press your weights to the sky, then release them back to the shoulder, reverse hammer curl down, lift the lunge. Beautiful. Let's do that a few more times. Lower the left knee down, hammer curl up, press to the sky, lower, lower, and then lift up out of the lunge. Moving all the parts, inhale, hold, exhale, lunge, lower the left knee, hammer curl up, press to the sky, lower, reverse curl. Let's do two more, we got this. Lower, hammer curl up, press to the sky, lower, reverse curl, and lift. Last one, lunge, hammer curl, lift, lower, reverse curl, stand. Beautiful. Reach your arms up to the sky, high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Bring your arms down to a T. Now, if you have heavier weights, always keep your elbows bent, palms facing up, rolling the shoulders down your back, squeezing the core for stability. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your right arm to the sky. Breathe into the front ribs. Beautiful, inhale, star pose. Create that beautiful X. Exhale, horse squat. Bring your weights to your chest, pivot the heels in, toes out. Great job, squeezing the bottom of your glutes there, keeping the tailbone tucked, shoulders stacked over hips. Let's just do like 10 squats. How does that sound? So lower, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. So toes and the heels are in one straight line with your, and your knees are tracking on that same line. Lowering through the hips, back is strong. Core is engaged the whole time, lifting through the chest. I lost count, let's do five more. And four, and three, last two, and one. Getting that booty ready for summer. Inhale, star pose, parallel the feet, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, warrior two. Hold for the inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward. Lower the right elbow to your thigh, press your weight above your left shoulder. Beautiful, inhale, look down and in front of you. Exhale, lower your left weight to your shoulder, pivot your shoulders down, release the weights, and step back to high plank. So preparing for a side plank core exercise, you have the option to keep your left knee up or down. So we're gonna put our weight on our left hand, inhale, roll over to the knife edge of our left foot, and reach the right fingertips to the sky. But you can choose to put your left knee down. Wherever you are, keep your shoulders stacked, squeeze the core in tight, slowly curve your right arm lower, and point to underneath your armpit, and then inhale, reach it up to the sky. Let me show you what I mean, just in case you're not 100% clear. Lower the right arm down, pointing it underneath the right um, shoulder, left shoulder, and then lift it to the sky. You can lower your left knee at any point. So try to keep the foundation the same through the body. This is really gonna work your core. Let's just do two more. Reach it under, lift it high, reach it under, Lift it high. That's a tough one. Come down to high plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. Give yourself a little break. Inhale, locust pose. Lift your chest up. Reach your arms down to your side. Palms also lift up off the mat. And lift your toes up off the mat. So we're really lifting everything up off the mat, trying to get as long as we can. 
Reach the crown of your head forward and your toes behind you. Great job. Bring your hands back to your shoulders. Release everything down. Inhale, press yourself up through tabletop. And then pause. Grab your weights, one or two weights. And lift yourself all the way up to your knees. Beautiful. So doing our core strengthening twists once again, bring your weights together or just grab one weight with both hands in front of you. Elbows are at a 90 degree angle. Your elbows are tucked in toward your ribs. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right, keeping your hips pointed forward. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to the left. Squeezing through the core. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. The more you squeeze in, the more this is gonna uh, work your core. Center, twist to the right, last round. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Release your weights. Step back to a high plank and push yourself up to downward facing dog. Beautiful. Take a deep breath here, building so much strength. And exhale, letting it go. Inhale, left leg high. Toes point down, heel points up, keeping the hip in line with your right. Beautiful, hold one more breath. Maybe lift the heel a little higher. Exhale, step it through, low lunge. Grab your weights, inhale, high lunge. Shoulders stack up over your hips, find your stable base, and then keep your arms at your side as you lunge the right knee down, hammer curl up, press to the sky, lower, Reverse curl, lift out of the lunge. Inhale, lower down so your left knee is still stacked up over the ankle. Hammer curl up, press to the sky. Lower, lower, lift. Keep your belly tucked in the whole time. Lunge, hammer curl, press, lower, lower, lift. Lunge, hammer curl, press, Lower, lower, lift. Last one, lunge, hammer curl, press, lower, lower, lift. Beautiful. Inhale, high crescent lunge, weights come up. Exhale, warrior two. Sink your hips down low, sink into that left knee. Squeeze the shoulder blades behind you. Always an option to bend the elbows, palms up. Inhale, reverse warrior. Left arm reaches high. Breathe into the left ribs. Inhale, star pose. Parallel the feet. Arms come up. Exhale, horse squats. Pivot the heels in, toes out. Sink your hips down low. And bring your weights to your chest. And let's do a few more squats, getting that booty ready. Lift, lower, lift. Now you go at your pace, right? You can go as high and as low as you want. You can say, screw you, Shauna, I'm skipping it. That's cool. You do you. Keep your belly tucked in the whole time. Try to lengthen through the tailbone. Shoulders stacked up, proud chest. Let's do four more. Last three, and two, Woo, feeling them. Last one, inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Bend the left knee, arms come down. Inhale, hold. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward. Bend the left elbow, place it on your thigh. Reach your right arm to the sky, stacked above your right shoulder. Beautiful, inhale, look down and in front of you. Release your right weight to your shoulder. Pivot the chest downward and release your weights. Step back to high plank. 
preparing for a side plank to the left, you'll come onto your right palm and you can lower your right hip, right knee whenever you choose. So either stack or stagger the feet if that helps and maybe lower the right knee whenever it feels good. Beautiful, so keeping the, the torso engaged the whole time and keeping your left shoulder stacked above your right, lower your left arm down, pointing it underneath your right armpit and reach the left fingertips back to the sky. Let's do four more of those, lower and lift, squeezing through the core, lower, and lift, two more, reach down, reach up, squeeze through the belly, lower, lift. I'm shaking, inhale, plank pose. Exhale, lower all the way down, beautiful. Inhale, locust pose, lift the chest, reach your arms down by your side, Face, uh, palms face down, but they lift up away from the ground. Extend the back of your neck, reach the crown of your head forward, point your toes back, lift the feet a little higher, and then lower everything down. Bring your palms back underneath your shoulders. Inhale, full cobra, or still baby cobra, if that's what you're feeling today. Beautiful, exhale downward facing dog. Whew. How are we feeling? I know I can't hear you, but you can just say it anyway. Say, woo. All right. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, come down to your knees. Grab your weights. Round two. Same thing, both sides. One more time. Grab your weights, lift up to your knees, roll your shoulders down your back, bring your elbows to a 90 degree angle, your weights are in front of you, squeeze the belly in and begin to twist to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center, tuck in that low belly, twist to the right. Inhale, center, we exhale as we twist, so we have less inhale, center, exhale, twist. Less air in the belly, inhale, center, exhale, twist. Last one, inhale, center, release your weights down. Press your palms down, step back to high plank and downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale, hold it here for a beautiful breath. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Grab your weights, inhale, high lunge, stack your shoulders up, keep your weights at your side, find your stable, find your stability there, let me find mine. Squeeze the belly in, squeeze the outside of the glutes in for stability. And for the lunge, go as low as you can, right? You know your level. Oh. And we begin, lower the left knee down, hammer curl, punch, lower, lower, rise, lunge, curl, punch, lower, lower, rise, lunge, curl, punch, lower, lower, rise, two more. Lower, curl, punch. Lower, lower, rise. Last one, lunge, curl, punch. Lower, lower, rise. Beautiful, high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Reach your right arm to the sky. Inhale, star pose. Arms come up parallel the feet. Exhale, horse squat. Weights to the center of your chest. Pivot the heels in, toes out. Check that your knees are tracking in the same line as your middle toes, right? Make sure that your feet and your knees are going in the same angle. 
squeeze that belly in, tuck the tailbone down, squeeze the bottom of those glutes, squeeze through the thigh as we lower and lift, lower, lift. Focus on form, don't go as deep. If you start to lose any, uh, if you start to round through the spine, back out, right? Focus on form, form first. Beautiful, and then depth. Let's do four more, but squats are super impactful. Last two, and last one. Inhale, star pose, parallel the feet. Exhale, warrior two, pivot the right toes forward, sink into your lunge. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle, reach forward, bend the elbow, press it on the thigh, punch your left weight up above your left shoulder. Inhale, look down at your front foot, lower your weight to your shoulder so you can pivot safely, lower the weights down. Come back to a high plank and prepare for your side plank. I'm scooting all over the place. Side plank to your right. Always the option to lower your left knee down. Roll up to your left palm. Right arm reaches to the sky. Squeeze the belly. Squeeze the thighs. Inhale. Reach your arm down to your underneath your armpit. And exhale. Reach it to the sky. Inhale. Lower. Exhale. Lift. Three more. Lower. Exhale, lift and lower, lift. Last one, lower and lift. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Beautiful, inhale, locust pose. Lift the chest, lift the feet. Reach your arms down your sides. Reach your fingers back by your toes. Roll your shoulders up, lift your feet higher, reach the crown of your head forward. Notice how this stretches out the whole front of our body since we just did so much work on the back of our body. Lower all the way down, bring your palms to your shoulders, press up to tabletop. Whoo, grab your weights. Inhale, come up to your knees. Last round, best round. Beautiful, squeeze in through the belly, shoulders stacked up tall, bring your weights together, or if you're just using one, that's fine, or if you're using none, that's fine. You can always just keep your hands at your hips if you're not using any weights. That's great too, we're just twisting and squeezing. Beautiful, exhale as you twist to your right. Inhale, center, exhale, twist to your left. Inhale, center, Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, center. Last round, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Twist to the left. Beautiful. Inhale, center. Release your weights down. Step back to a high plank and push yourself back to downward facing dog. We'll hold this for a breath. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Lengthen through the legs. Lift the hips high. Big inhale and big exhale. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step it through. Oh, wait, sorry, left leg. I'm sorry, put your right leg down. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step it through. Low lunge. We don't need to do the right side again. Inhale, high lunge. Keep your weights at your side. Find your form. Find your stability. Make sure your left knee is stacked over the left ankle. Keep that left knee alignment to protect your knee during the lunge. And then we lunge. Lower the right knee down. Hammer curl up. Press. Lower, lower, rise. Lunge. Curl, press, lower, lower, rise. Squeeze that right glute, lunge. Curl, press, lower, lower, 
rise, two more, lunge, curl, press, lower, lower, rise, last one, lunge, curl, press, lower, lower, rise, great job, inhale, high crescent lunge, exhale, warrior two, spin the back heel down, inhale, reverse warrior, lift your left arm to the sky, beautiful, inhale, star pose, parallel the feet, exhale, horse squat, pivot the heels in, check that alignment between your knee and your toes, adjust as necessary. Woo! Sorry, I had cupcakes for lunch today, so I got to work all that off, and I'm just bringing you guys with me. Squat, lift. Squat, lift. Squat, lift. You go as low and as high as you feel comfortable. Make sure you keep that strong spine, shoulders stacked over hips, and just do what you can to feel strong and have good form. Let's do four more. Squeeze those glutes while you're at the bottom. Squeeze them to get you up. Last two, squeeze. Last one, whoo. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Pivot your left toes forward. Great job. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward. Lower the left arm down, reach your, punch your right arm above the shoulder. Inhale, look down and in front of you. Release your weight to your shoulder. Pivot the chest forward, safely drop your weights. Step back to a high plank. Last side, best side, lower your knee whenever you need to. Inhale, side plank to the right. Lift your left arm to the sky. Beautiful. Stack the hips and we bend. Reach the arm down. Reach it back up. Lower. Lift. You can always stagger the feet for stability or lower the bottom knee whenever you need to. Press down through the fingertips. Lower. Lift. Last one. Lower. Lift, inhale, high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down. Inhale, locust pose, roll the shoulders up. Roll your arms down your back. Reach your fingertips behind you. Keep them lifted up. Reach the crown of your head forward. See if you can get your feet even higher off the ground and your chest and then lower all the way down. Just hold this for a breath. Beautiful, bring your palms underneath you. Inhale, press yourself up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great, great job. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step forward and have a seat. And come all the way down to your back. Whew. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Gently rock from side to side. Beautiful. Bring your feet down to the mat. Knees point up. And keep your feet parallel. Hip width distance apart. Toes point forward. Roll your shoulders down your back. Keep your knees lifted up directly above the railroad tracks that your feet are on. And inhale, bridge pose. Begin to lift your hips up, rolling your chest up toward your chin. So keep the chin pointed to the sky and allow your chest to roll up toward your chin. If you have space underneath your spine, you can clasp your hands under your back Maybe roll your shoulders underneath of you for a deeper hip stretch. Press down through all four corners of both feet to lift your hips up about knee height if you can get there. And keep your knees parallel, both tracking forward. Hold this for one more breath. 
and exhale, release your hips all the way down. Remove your hands from underneath of you. While your feet are where they are, allow your knees to both drop down to the right. So keep your feet where they are. Let your knees fall to the right and feel a nice little twist on the right side of your body. I'm sorry, left side of your body. Hold this for just a breath. Inhale, come back up to center. Feet and knees are still parallel. Hips width distance apart. And exhale, drop your knees down to the left. So keeping the feet planted, just moving the knees, feeling a little twist through the right side of your body. Beautiful. Inhale, reach your knees back up to center. Extend your left leg long and reach your right knee up. Grab both hands around your right shin. Draw your right knee out to the right side and reach your right knee up toward your right shoulder. Wind removing pose. Hold this here. Try to squeeze the top of your right thigh toward the outside of your right ribs. And then exhale, supine twist. Guide the right knee across the body. Stack your right hip over your left. Maybe shift your left knee to the center of your mat so your spine is in one nice straight line down the middle of your mat. Keep your right shoulder blade flat on the mat. Reach your right arm out to the side and let your left ear drop to the right your right ear drop to the right. Beautiful. Inhale, slowly come back to center. Bring both knees back into your chest. Give yourself a little hug to realign the spine and extend your right leg long. Grab both hands around your left shin. Draw your left knee out and then up toward your left shoulder. Hold it here, squeezing the top of your left thigh toward the outside of your left ribs. And exhale, supine twist. Guide your left knee across the body. Stack your left hip over your right. Maybe shift your right hip to the center of your mat. Reach your left arm out to the side, keeping your left shoulder blade on the mat. Beautiful. Inhale, come back to center. Bring both knees back into your chest for one more hug. Inhale and exhale, release Shavasana. Extend your arms and legs out long and wide. Be careful of any weights that might be down toward your feet. Roll your shoulders down your back and begin to actively release each muscle group. Relax through your toes, the balls of your feet, your arches, and your heels. Relax through your ankles, your calves, your knees, and your thighs. Relax through your hips and your glutes. Completely relax through your abs, letting your belly rise and fall with each effortless breath. Relax through your fingers and your palms and your wrists. Relax th through your forearms, your elbows, and your biceps. Roll your shoulders down your back and allow your whole back to relax. You are supported. It can take some time off. Relax through your neck and release the muscles in your face. Allow your tongue to fall from the roof of your mouth and allow all of the muscles to just sit quietly.
gently begin bringing awareness back to your body and your breath. Take a slightly deeper inhale, feeling the chest lift and exhale, sigh it out. On your next inhale, reach your arms up over your head for a wall to wall stretch. Get long, get lean, and then draw your knees up to your chest. Gently rock from side to side and fall over on your favorite side. Keeping your eyes closed, slowly push yourself up to a seat. Root down through your sit bones and sit tall, sit proud. Bring your palms together, press them in, press your thumbs into your chest. Roll your shoulders down your back and take a deep inhale. May we look inward for validation and acceptance. Inhale, draw your thumbs to your lips. May we speak words of truth, kindness, and encouragement. Inhale, draw your thumbs to your third eye center. May we be the change we wish to see in this world. Take a deep inhale to fill yourself with love and light. And exhale to share it with the world. Namaste. I really hope you enjoyed your class today. If you like these videos, be sure to like and subscribe the YouTube channel and I will be popping into your inbox at any time. I would also love it if you joined us on our Facebook community page and you can sign up for the weekly newsletter at kalaniyoga.com. Thank you so much for being here.